Unfortunately, nowadays you won't get much gasoline on 20 baht. And yeah, guys, welcome back to our hungry adventures. Hey, hey, we're on Koh Samui. It's another rainy, windy day. Day without sunlight, day without sunsets. Yeah. And if you remember, a couple of weeks ago, I posted a video about budget-friendly houses and apartments available for short term here on Koh Samui in Thailand. Yeah. And I ask your opinion about what place I should choose to stay. And today, since it's another rainy day and there is nothing much to do on Koh Samui when it's raining, no boat tours, no beach adventures, yeah. So today I'm finally going to reveal the place I've chosen to stay. And I'm gonna tell you why, yeah. So it's gonna be a house tour. It is a house, yeah. But it's gonna be a surprise, just hold on, yeah. I'm gonna tell you some tips about how to find budget-friendly accommodation in Thailand and in Koh Samui, yeah. And if it won't be raining too hard, however, I think it will be raining very hard. Thunderstorm every, every day, yeah. So if it won't be raining too hard, today we can take a ride around, maybe even to the fisherman village, yeah. To visit some of their barber shops, yeah. So if you got some time and empty space in your stomach and you're ready to waste your precious time together with me, then join me this hungry adventure. Let's go. And in case you're wondering what place I have chosen to stay out of the options I showed in the previous episode, well, the answer is simple. None of them. <laughs> but I can explain why. There are certain reasons, guys. Yeah. I really love the Beast Bridge house, yeah, the house by the beach in the Menam area with this beautiful crystal blue water without many people. Really private beach, which is perfect for romantic holidays for a couple, but I'm a single guy. I still need some people. Yeah. Plus, the place is located quite far from everything, from gym, from supermarkets and so on. Yeah. Which is why on the next day I visited one more place that I couldn't visit on the same day. And once I saw it, I realized that this is it. It's called Ladawan Village. And there are several reasons why I've chosen it. Reason number one swimming pool. Reason number two, covered parking for the motorcycle. I've checked the weather forecast and I saw that there will be thunderstorms and raining every day. Yeah, and not just raining, but really storm. This is a storm, stormy weather. Take a look at the palm trees. Yeah. The wind is really strong, which is not suitable for riding a motorcycle, which is why my horse is waiting for new adventures under the roof comfortably. Of course, another reason is the price, another reason is the kitchen, another reason is location, because this village is located in just two minutes drive from Big C, in three minutes drive from Macro, four minutes drive from probably one of the best gyms on Koh Samui. And I've come to Koh Samui not to enjoy by the beach, I've come to Koh Samui to go to the gym, to eat normal food, to prepare my body for new trips, for my diving course, yeah, from Koh Tao, which is coming next. <sighs> so. This is the place, guys. Let's begin the house tour. Finally, welcome to my home. <laughs> it is a one-bedroom house with separated bedroom and combined living room with kitchen area. Toilet shower is right here. Huge fridge. This is the smoking table. I brought it from the from the porch because obviously I don't smoke, but I don't mind use extra table here in the kitchen. Yeah. These are my vegetables and chili. The window, this is the back side of, of the next village and basically I've never seen anybody walking here because there is, a, there is a fence. So you can close the curtain 
or open it if you need a little bit more light. But the kitchen looks really great, I've got everything I need. Here's the sink, different plates, cups, utensils, knife and etc. Here is my induction cooker where I cook... What did I cook? Uh, chickpeas, boiled chickpeas with black pepper. Diet food, of course. It's not supposed to be tasty. It's just supposed to bring some calories into your stomach. You can also open these windows to get rid of the smoke and the smell while you're cooking. Pan, more utensils, cutting board and kettle, microwave and huge working area, yeah, kitchen area where you can cut everything you want to. And here is a huge sofa with many, many pillows. Soft, by the way, because uh, I thought maybe one of my friends will come to Koh Samui, which is why I thought maybe I need a place a little bit bigger so that I can sleep on the sofa. Oh, my friends can sleep on the sofa. Yeah, which is why I really love this uh, nice place where you can enjoy the uh, television. Because TV is actually there is Netflix and YouTube. Uh, you need to have your own uh, Netflix account to access the Netflix library. However, you can watch uh, YouTube for free, like it's supposed to be. By the way, this is the mosquito spray you were asking me about. This is probably the only mosquito spray that works for me. So everything that contain DEET, which is a chemical, really works against local, against local mosquitoes. It is a chemical though, however, sometimes you just gotta choose what you need. Real protection from mosquitoes and other insects, or something natural and organic. In my case, it's a protection. Alright, and now we're entering my bedroom. And also my production center, where I'm editing all of the videos. But unfortunately, the mattress is not really soft. Yeah, it's something in between, just like in all other places we have seen. Yeah. The softest mattress I saw only in Samui City Hotel. <laughs> it was just a miracle. But here, everywhere on Koh Samui, mattresses are really like similar. Thai style, not super hard, but something in between. On hard side, of course, yeah. This is the wardrobe. And my new t-shirts, by the way. Let me show it to you. Oh yeah, new t-shirts. Oh yeah, not spicy, not tasty. Oh yeah, new designs. I don't know, have you seen it on YouTube or not? But these are new, brand new. And one of them I'm wearing right now, of course, yeah. So this is the wardrobe, but I've got no clothes, I've got nothing with me. Everything I have, I can put in this box and in the extra, extra bag. Yeah. So yeah, my production center, this is the hanger for the clothes, so that uh, if you do some hand wash, like your underwear and socks, you can hang it here. Yeah, there is a laundry, like coin machine laundry, in just uh, 150 meters from here, which is quite convenient. You can close curtain, of course, completely, which is amazing for sleeping and for privacy, in case you are doing some naughty things in your bed. And here is the toilet, together with shower. Yep, clean and beautiful, just like Mickey. <laughs> And as you see, there are two doors, so you can access it from living room and you can access it from bedroom. Just like that. Guys, and this house costs 12,000 baht a month without many months contract. 12,000 baht just for one month rent, yeah, which is around $330 US. There is a deposit of 5,000 baht. Electricity costs 7 baht per unit, and I believe I gotta spend around 
400 units this month because I was cooking a lot, I was using AC a lot, I spent a lot of time indoors. Yeah, because it was raining almost every goddamn day. <laughs> so probably for 400 units of electricity a month, which is gonna be 2,800 baht more. Yeah, 7 baht per unit. But it's okay. Uh, there is a flat fee for water, 150 baht. And there is also extra fee for cleaning when you check out, 500 baht. So it's pretty normal, pretty basic. But I believe 12,000 baht for house in such conditions with this location and with this swimming pool, even though it's a, uh, not a private swimming pool, uh, I think it's, it's a really great deal. So how do I find such places like budget-friendly accommodation available for short term? Mostly it is Facebook marketplace because sometimes there are real gems directly from, uh, from owners. Yeah, and also Google map. If you found nice area, area you like near beach, near airport, near some something else, you can just scroll the map, find some nice looking apartments on houses, write, uh, write down the names of these places and try to find them on Facebook. Because in Thailand, people don't use websites like most business owners. Facebook page is a must, yeah. And also they don't use WhatsApp. Line, Line application. If you are coming to Thailand, download Line application because this is the app, the messenger number one in Thailand. So when, once you found these places, you can message them directly on Facebook or you can message them in Line and they will answer you instantly, maybe even with, within the same day. And then you will get the answer. And if the owners will sell, no, our house is only for three months or our house is only for six months, you can say, okay, I'm willing to pay two, two or three thousand more for the price. Uh, 4,000 baht more for the price, depending on uh, your desire to get this exact place, this is exact house. And usually the owner will say yes, because uh, why not? Why don't get uh, a little bit more money? Anyway, you're renting the same houses here. Yeah, the customer has arrived. So yeah, just negotiate. We're in Asia, everybody loves negotiating. Yeah. <laughs> But with agents, usually, yeah, you can only get six or 12 months houses, even though there are many nice houses, cheap price. You can get house for 8,000 8, baht, for 6,000 baht, for 10,000 baht with swimming pool, but for one year for, or for six month contract. Yeah, but if you just need a place for one month, try to use my, my methods. But in Bangkok, the method is the same. You can use the website renthub.co.th, uh, rent yeah. Just write the name of place, uh, area you want to find near BTS, near MRT, near some university or near some market and the website will show you many, many, many apartments available for short term and for long term rent. All right. And I can hear it's raining again. Ah, what to do? remember this is the place I showed you in the previous episode the place number two Ban Suan Tip if I remember the name right here you can rent a house for 7,000 baht a month also with kitchen with induction cooker with kettle and many utensils and this is my Starbucks a place where I'm getting coffee almost every day is very special because it doesn't really matter how excellent your driving skills are. There are so many maniacs on the roads. Maniacs, tourists, drunk. Sometimes it's simply just dark or some streets might be too narrow. So you always have to pay attention every turn, every second if you don't want to end up in a hospital. And what is hard to believe is that now, today, 
The gasoline price is 42.4 baht, which is fantastic because last week it was 47 point, uh, 47 and a half baht. Massive drop in the fuel price. I want to thank Thai authorities for this and everyone who was involved because I already started to feel like I'm riding a jet, not a motorcycle. This is my gym. Basically, it's around four minutes drive from my home. Price here for one month is 2,500 baht. However, they've got promotion, which is why I bought my uh, one month ticket here. Pro with promotion, it is 1,800 baht. And here, they've got sauna, which I have never used. <laughs> of course, just like the swimming pool. Yeah, I got swimming pool in house, but I don't swim. I got sauna here, but I don't go to sauna. Yeah. But they've got air conditioning, which is great. However, it's raining, so you don't feel that uncomfortable. Uh, I'm not going to gym today, but uh, while it's not raining, let's take a ride to the fisherman village. This is it, ladies and gentlemen, the legendary Fisherman Village. Probably the most popular and the most touristy place on entire island. But the funny fact is, I've never seen even a single fisherman here or a fisherman boat. They should rather call it a tourist village rather than a fisherman village. <laughs> it is a fancy place, really European standards place, with many restaurants, pubs and bars and shops and so on. People wear dresses, people wear makeup, people wear perfume for this purpose, to walk around this place. Yeah, and I've noticed there is a barber shop. And I'm really curious to know how much does it cost to cut hair here and how good the, hair, the haircut is. Let's find out together. But unfortunately, it's already closed. They closed at 6 p.m. and now it's 6.20. Come on, what a lucky man. All right then, let's go to the fisherman village and let's try to find a fisherman there. However, I gotta tell you, the mission is simply impossible. <laughs> you tam me kap tinai, tam me kap tinai. Me kap tam en lo. All right, guys, I did a mistake. I was really wrong and I'm sorry. Here is your fisherman boat. But something tells me it's not going anywhere anymore. I don't know, I've got a feeling. No fisherman on this side. No fisherman on this side. But I can see there are quite many tour boats doing tours to Koh Tao, to Pangan and other islands. There is an island near Samui with domestic pigs running around the beach. Very popular activity here to visit this island. And of course, thousands of restaurants and bars, beachfront restaurants and bars. And people don't come to eat Pad Kapao or Pad Thai here. Pizza, seafood, carbonara, enjoying drinking wine, enjoying sunsets or just breeze and salty air. But regular fishermen, don't come to have lunch here. <laughs> no, no, no. But place, of course, is really beautiful. If you have some special day, if you have a date, or a birthday, or a wedding, or just some romantic holiday, this is probably the most ideal place to come. Just don't forget your wallet.
course there is a market. Here you can buy various accessories, bags, speakers, dresses, even the weed. I just saw people are selling the weed in the glass jar because it's in Thailand. Thailand is a new Amsterdam. Yeah, which is why quite many Thai business owners are obsessed about this new trend growing wheat domestically in their own homes, in their own farms. I'm not going to try, I'm not going to try, otherwise the next episode is not going to be anytime soon. <laughs> Guys, the market is pretty crowded and there are so many speakers, so much music, so it's really difficult to film something. And I just don't feel hungry at all. I've got really excellent washing powder, so I don't feel hungry. <laughs> Plus this video was not about street food, this video was about my place, the house, yeah. But there will be some other video about food, I promise, someday, yeah. So if you want to see new episodes, then hit the like button, turn the notifications on. And I'll see you in the next video pretty soon, somewhere else on Koh Samui. Bye-bye. Where is my motorcycle? Somewhere there, yeah.